Liz, I get that you're feeling a little bit vulnerable right now. So um, I'm thinking this might be a good time to remind you of my experience in history with the t-shirt industry. Now, I promise this time there'll be no mob riots. There'll be no heartfelt, apologetic press conferences. Just, just stay to the art, tagless tease. Saul, mm -hmm. the last time you attempted t-shirts for us, we had a straight up old fashioned mob riot right out in the front of the building. It's, and it had nothing to do with the tags inside of the t-shirt. I just mentioned that. I just said mob riot. You can't hold something against me that I introduced into the debate. That's unfair. You wouldn't have even remembered if I didn't bring it up for you. Ouch! Ouch! Stop it! You're crossing a very a dangerous line right now, Elizabeth. <laughs> I wouldn't have remembered it. Mm -mm, I don't think so. I represent RCCM at a racial healing vigil every Saturday for the next 36 months as a court-ordered mandate. As a direct result of the last time you attempted to make t-shirts for us, Saul. I traded my t-shirt in for a white healing gown, Saul. Well, I'm pretty sure the Bible says uh, that you must forgive. And in order to forgive, you need to forget. And I got a big amen out of me last Sunday. Oh uh, thank you very much, Mr. Pastor.